20 to 30 minutes uh, to connect, but uh, I need your the individual the, uh, Gmail ID. Because uh, even though UB account is based on the G Suite, so it's a Google account, but the IT service, the UB IT service block the developer option. So you cannot create a pure virtual machine. So I, the, since last semester, I keep asking, but uh, they are worrying about uh, something, the malfunction, I'm not sure, but uh, they do not allow the developer option, so you are not able to activate uh, any the GCP coupon. You can uh, include, but uh, cannot uh, use the GCP. So uh, please, uh, if you do not have the Gmail account, you can create and uh, use it for your uh, the uh, account the, for GCP throughout the semester. So we will uh, the create the building account on the Thursday. Okay, so last class we talk about the overview of the uh, this class. Then the, this chapter we will focus on the uh, the more specific the structure about the operating system. Before we start, so we can the, quickly review what we have done the last. Uh, uh, week. So, please, you can use your laptop or the cell phone or the anything as long as you are connected. Uh, this is the address. Or you can download the app, the search code. The Google Play. Whatever. So please log on, uh, not log on, you don't have to log on registration, just go into the kahoot.it, then I will explain. Okay, so this is a pin number. Pin number. However, for your nickname, please use last name followed by first name. Otherwise, there's no way to identify your name. This the result will be applied to your canvas manually. It's really manually. So if you are using the weird name, there's no way to identify. Okay, please use your last name followed by first name. Our system is ordered by the last name, so please use the last name followed by the first name. Okay? Later, even though you are late, so you do not answer, do not have time to answer the many questions, but I strongly suggest to log on, okay? The log on, the system, that will be considered as your the attendance, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty. Uh, four, five. Anyone? Five. So you can use the website, or you can download the Kahoot, the app. It doesn't matter. Whatever you use. I'm going to wait uh, thirty more seconds. In case you uh, accidentally log out or the stop your application, please log on again using the PIN number with the same name. Okay? Then it will be combined. Uh, please. Okay, are you ready? It's a very simple, there is no number, just match the color or shape. It's a full kindergarten.
each question uh, is 20, 15 seconds to one minute. So most of time, the most of the question you have enough time to answer. Okay, let's start. So this is a practice. <laughs> Okay, so you can touch the whatever you like, but keep in mind that all your answer will be recorded <laughs> in the system. <laughs> so this is the remaining time. Once you answer, there's no way to change. Okay, you can the base logo the code dot it. <laughs> Thank you. There's no point so for this one. Please log on as soon as possible. You are using your cell phone. So please use your the last name and the first name as a nickname. Okay, so you can use the where's the pin number? Our uh, pin number is here. Five, two, four, zero, six, three. Please do not discuss with your friend. Just pay attention to the question. It's just a simple question. So you are better than the, your friend. So please. Oops. I didn't know that this one is working. Next. OK, the first question. Computer system can be divided into four component. Which one is not in this the component? Most of the questions are obvious. It's not complicated. And uh, from the textbook or the PPT file that I use, or the, from my the lecture, so don't be serious too much, like the internet. But believe me. The, I think the first question will be the last one, the perfect answer. <laughs> Please log on the code.it with the, this pin number and the nickname. It's the last name followed by your first name. Sometimes, because of the, the code, they migrate the system many times. So some of the question is uh, the space is uh, removed, but uh, you are able to understand. So this is the description about the OS, which is uh, true. It's a resource allocator, a mod system, bootloader, or the instruction. So it's a resource allocator. So some of the operating system has it embedded, but uh, uh, like the BIOS program is the firmware, but uh, we cannot say in general, okay? And also OS is not the instruction. It has the instruction, but it's not the instruction, okay? But uh, we can say the OS is a resource allocator and the coordinate, the, the allocate and uh, so okay, don't pay attention to the this score, okay? I'm not going to just I'm going to count the number of the correct answer. The one program running on all the time, starting from from the starting to the end. What is that program? Somebody consider this is the operating system. Microview. That is the kernel. So kernel sometimes considered as the operating system. It's a micro view. So, but uh, nowadays most of the operating system 
the, in addition to the kernel and the many other. We will discuss today the, uh, the uh, micro, the this current trend of the micro kernel as less as possible for, to provide the flexibility. So which one is uh, different uh, from the other? So all of them are the same meaning except the one, okay? And that same meaning, the one is different from the other, okay? It's uh, almost the same question as the previous one. That is a corner. The, they are embedded. The firmware, BIOS, the bootstrap program are embedded. The part of the hardware, mostly the ROM. But kernel is the, in the partition. Then the, that is the first process. Is the throttling of your operating system. So the, the nowadays operating system is interface, and the, there are different types of the, uh, the inter. And the software generated the interrupt caused by the error. So you can think about uh, consider the similar thing in the try and uh, try and catch in the Java programming or the many program or oriented programming provide such a thing. Definitely, it's not hardware interrupt because it said the software. And uh, generally, it's, uh, the interrupt is uh, when we explain it's a signal. That doesn't mean it's uh, just a signal. So we can understand the interrupt as a signal, then the software generate the, uh, the error catch is a trap. As I said, it's not a complicated question. From the question, you can understand. You can find the answer most of the time. So this is the definition of the base. It looks like the old student answered correctly, but I don't think so. I never seen the perfect answer. Even the first question was not so far. Okay. So it's an interrupt I just explained before. Okay, please keep in mind the uh, currently the current operating system is an interface, interrupt driven operating system. Which one is not an example of the storage structure? It's just common sense. But surprisingly, many of the students answer. USB is not the storage. USB is the high bulb. It's a bus. It's a universal bus. And we can use that the bus as the, sometimes the storage that if you connect the USB drive, or the, it can be used for the, the bus further to connect the mouse or the many things. Okay? So USB is not the storage. And the other, Solid state and the register is the highest level of the storage structure. As we discussed, main memory is the actually main storage, primary storage that can be accessed by the CPU processor. Okay. We talk about the historically that we use this to address the problem of the speed gap. Okay, the computer used really a lot, and even application program used this the mechanism. So what is this? <coughs> so we will talk about the swap later, and the buffer is a, is a faster storage. But the uh, buffer will be useful to reduce the gap and the width gap. Okay, that is a buffer. 
but the, the tool the reduce the gap of the storage, the speed. Okay, then we can use the memory, whether even we can use the enter case and so on. So that is a test. So you will see the in this kind of question, you will see the this one. So we have the CPU, it has own the register cache. Register cache is separated. What is the this one? They are sharing the memory. Multi-core is the one chip, okay? Multi-core is the one chip. MPP is the shared nothing. It's not shared. The cluster is the same thing. It's the not shared. But the SMP, logically, as I explained, SMP is logically one, which means they share the memory, okay? So the, you don't have to worry about whether you are using one CPU or the multiple CPU, but operating system will take care. So it's the, the Symmetric, symmetrically is a multiple process, which means it's the same thing. It's just like the whether you have the two gigabyte of memory, eight gigabyte of memory, is the you don't have to worry. Symmetrically, they are the same. Same thing for the S, the such a the uh, SMP. So you can have the multiple CPU, but the symmetrically they are the same. So you don't have to worry about whether you have the multi. The CPU. Multi core is the one chip, and the MPP and cluster is a shared nothing. You do not share the memory. Okay. So, please, the main difference between the multi core and the SMP is the multi core is just one chip. Okay. So, so Operating system use the different level of the processing the system library the to protect the system. If you allow the each application to access the storage or the something the device, so it will be the problem. So we separate. What is this? It's the dual mode. So uh, user mode and the kernel mode, then uh, we will see the more details the, today about the dual mode implementation in the... Okay, so... GA will update the number of the correct answer to the canvas, uh, then the, if you or uh, have at least uh, zero marks, which means it, uh, you attend. Then the attendance will be considered uh, later. Any question regarding to the this the how? So I think that we will have the maybe the seven or eight times of the every other week. So to just to check up. The portion grading for your final grading is not huge, okay? You don't have to too much, it's serious. Whether I got the 10 or 9, it will not be. The total is gonna be the around the 5% out of 100, but the attendance will be more important. So please, uh, uh, even though you are late, the, at least the logo, then the, you will get the attendance. So. And also, I'm going to use the some of the questions for your midterm and final, as it is. I'm going to just copy and paste, so you will uh, the, get the uh, more the point, the credit on your the midterm and final. Okay, so today we are going to talk about the more details of the operating system data structure, which means how the operating system is organized. So to do that, so if you are asked, the last class, we talk about what is the computer system. 
and then the, how it is organized, and then the, we uh, the define what is the, the operating system. Operating system is in between the hardware and the user. So we need uh, something, the operating system is the software. It's a group of software to use the uh, computing power of this. Then, the, let me change the question to you. So in other words, if you are asked to build, uh, to develop the operating system, how do you start? What kind of functionality do you need? So just a design, rough, really high level the sketch. So if you need to develop like the Windows or the Linux style the operating system, what do you need to do? What kind of the functionality you need to implement? In other words, uh, the, you can just uh, the, give me the, uh, your experience on using the, any types of operating system like the Unix or the Linux or the Windows. So what kind of component do you need? For example? User interface. User interface. So that is the most uh, familiar thing for you. So uh, we have used the computer, actually you through the user interface, okay? So what kind of uh, the operating system have you ever used so far? Operating system? Windows. Windows. So Windows used graphical user interface, so that is a Windows. So Windows 3.1, have you ever used the 3.1? It's really Windows. So like the, this one and the, this, and the, you can see the, some, the, it was really nice. So this is the graphical user interface, one of the most popular the user interface in the operating system. Still we are using, and also Microsoft cannot throw away. So this graphical user interface as an interface of the operating system. We expect that when we turn on the computer, something fancy nice. So because of this, the, even though the another the operating system that you are using, Linux, or the Unix system, they are, the, what kind of interface are you using? Command. Command. It's a port. More specifically, so we can say this is a command line interface. The command line interface, you can actually use the terminal. So when you access, or the, when I the access the Unix system first time, I have used the telnet to connect. So telnet, the IP address, then the issues the login and the password, and the issues the something prompt like this. It's a command line interface that we can type. Of this. Then, this Linux and the Unix system, the for that the command line interface, like the, for the graphical user interface, Windows use the old version of the Windows, provide still use the Windows, okay, as the such an interface. What kind of the, interf the uh, program can the Linux and the Unix provide for the command line interface? That is called the shell program. The shell is the most outside of the program that can receive the command from the user. So for example, if you type the ls command, then this ls program will be executed and the run. So that is the shell programming. So there are many different types of shell. Like the K share, coin share, bash share, and the share, just the share. Some even the Perl is the share and PHP share. There are a lot of share, the script language and the share. The among them C share <coughs> is that. But nowadays the bash share is the most popular one that uh, the user for the Linux. So this is the program outside the program that can receive the user request. And it's the same thing as the Windows in the graphical user interface, okay? So sometimes I like to use the k share instead of the bash share. You can change any time. <coughs> you can change the configuration, okay? 
Then, what about the Windows? Windows has the CMD, the EXE. It looks like the command line interface, right? You can run, the, you can type the notepad, like the, for example, So there's no comment. Notepad. You can learn the. So, what is the difference between the, this, the command line interface, and this one? So. Both of them looks like the command line interface. They are the same, looks like the same, but actually they are huge different. Anyone who can say the, what is the main difference? CMD.exe, and uh, next one is, uh, this one is a uh, Bastion. CMD doesn't have kernel access? Kernel access? So CMD is uh, nothing but, it's the uh, same as uh, actually mouse or the windows. It's just uh, receive the command itself. It doesn't execute, okay? It doesn't execute the program. It's just uh, receive. Then the desktop or the, who <coughs> will see the process list in the chapter three, okay? Then the, there is just uh, pass the notepad.exe, the program name to the desktop. Then the desktop is the actually same level as the shell. However, the best shell is the part of outside of the operating system. Okay? Then the is the so kernel is the first process running all throughout the uh, the, the running time of your operating system that create the another process, another process, another process. This is the shell program. Then user will create the, uh, another process using this one. So you can create the, you can run the ps command here by creating ps as a child process of this. This is a shell program. However, the command line interface is just one application program, the desktop. From the desktop, you will learn the CMD, and the CMD cannot create the child process. Instead, it just asks to the desktop. Then desktop will create the child process that is for the notepad, OK? So it's a huge difference. So it's not the shape. So when we are saying the command line interface, that means it's a shell. So traditionally, the Linux and the Unix system use a command line interface, in other words, the shell, the programming as an interface, while the Windows use a desktop environment. But nowadays, the Microsoft finally, the, actually the Microsoft didn't use the, such a shell interface because they the identity of the Windows is a graphical region, desktop, okay? Then using the double click, the mouse click the button, then they can execute. They can, in other words, execution means create a process. They can create the process. However, because of that, so it's a very limited to use the kernel resource. And also it's almost hidden. On the other hand, if we are using the shell, shell is a part of, so it's a, logically they are clearly uh, connected, then uh, we can create a new process. So there might be the no, not no problem, it's uh, very easy to manage such a thing. So finally Windows, a uh, couple of years ago, they provide the shell, the programming as an interface. That is the best shell, so you can uh, test. So one of, another example of the such operating system is the iOS, a uh, macOS. What about the macOS? MacOS provides both of them. So Aqua still use the same the interface as the, I'm not very big fan of the uh, 
the output product, but it has the register name is a dog. To have the dog, and you can create the icon where the frequently user want the dog, or you can use the the batch shape as a terminal. Because the as a part of we will see the today as a part of the Mac OS, it has the it used the BSD, the the Unix system as a part of their operating system. So it provides the both of it. So nowadays, the most of the operating system, they provide both graphical user interface as well as a command line interface. What about the Linux and Unix system? Do they provide the graphical user interface? Yes, like the genome or K-Desktop. So if you install any of the Linux system nowadays, it shows the graphical user interface. That is different from the Windows. It is the graphical user interface for this the terminal. Okay? So that is the interface. So first thing, yes, it is true. The main part, one of the important part of the, the OS component is the user interface. So there are two types of the user interface. One is the command line and the another one is the graphical user interface. Nowadays, most of the operating system provide the both of them. I strongly suggest to be familiar with the command line interface. That doesn't mean the CMD, the using the, this one, instead the shell, the programming. Shell is the another programming, the program, okay? That utilize the, your operating system. And the more convenient, there are a lot of the flexibility. So you will learn the how to use the shared programming. Actually, the, from time to time, I offer the project to create the shared programming. You can actually create the, within the five, the minute, if you are familiar with the C, Pro, C or the C++, you can actually create the shared programming within five minutes. The main part of the shared programming is what? Create the process. If you are able to create the process, that's it. How to create the process, we will learn in chapter three, more details. So, that is the user interface. So, what else? What kind of component do we need if we design the operating system? File system? File system, yes. So, for example, the, if we manage the, a lot of data, okay? So, how can we, how can we store the, such a data? So, as a, File. Everything is in the file, right? What about the source file? That's the file. If you compile the source file and object file, that is the file. If you link the several the object file, that will be executable file. Okay? Then the, what about your data? So I stored all the data in the notepad as a CSV file for me. So the file. Any information that are in our computer is the file. And also, not only such a file that we know, we are familiar with, but also, like the, if you create the process, how does the, the uh, operating system recognize such a created process? As a file. Everything is a file. If you connect a new device to the computer, then operating system recognizes your device, like the on the D